So now that we've got the garden with some compost in it, we'll start to lay out our plant material and see how it looks. Taller stuff to the back, smaller stuff to the front, and in the middle you can trans, you know, back and forth as to what you want to put in there and the colors. So I've got everything laid out where I think I like it to go. It all looks colorful. There's lots of variety here. And uh, hopefully the bee pollinators find it and enjoy it as well. We've got it all planted in. The key to any success for any garden is proper watering. So you want to remember your freshly planted plants. Get down low and just water around the base. Don't water the leaves not going to help the plant. Just water around the base of the plant. We've got our garden planted in. I've watered it really nicely. The next step, obviously, we're going to add more mulch. Now, when you add your mulch, make sure you don't put the mulch to the stem of the plants. Uh, if you do that, it's called volcanoing, and what will happen is the moisture will be held at the root or at the very stem of the plants. It can cause root rot over a period of time. So you want to make sure when you're putting your mulch down, leave at least a finger width out from the base of any plant. That goes for trees, shrubs, or plants. So words to remember, don't volcano your mulch. Remember to water regularly. I'm gonna throw some fertilizer on here too, probably a 006, maybe some of uh, another fertilizer. We'll figure that out. Uh, for a plant list, I will be posting that as well, just so that you know what we've planted in here, if you don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.